Today, I have chosen to speak about growing God's church through unity. In other words, seven years of existence, we are celebrating God's unity he has bestowed upon God's church. Amazing grace. And all those on this platform, beloved, it is about unity we are celebrating. Churches begin within a year. People disagree and condemn others and the church, and the church breaks up, and some even break away, and they don't come back, and the churches, you, you, you find them no more. Seven years of existence, most probably, many people have come who did not agree to whatever we do, and we may not find them, but amazing grace we can still find. <laughs> so celebrating seven years is about celebrating unity. And that is it. It is about celebrating unity. We are celebrating God's own unity. He has bestowed upon God's own church. It is unity we are celebrating. We are celebrating the unity of the body of Christ. Paul in his own wisdom, trying to teach about the gift of the Spirit, brings out the idea of the human body. He likens the child to a body. You know, the members are the parts of the body, okay? Some are hands, legs, stomach, ear, nose, eye, you know, all the parts of the body. Paul likens the church to the part of the body. So, um, the church and unity are inseparable. If you take unity out of a church, then the church would cease to be a church because church is about unity. Unity. All of what you are in and say, four years, seven years of existence of amazing grace. Ningnani say we are celebrating unity. A young Cabo Mumbia, O Yamedia Dumu, Yains and Nasafo, and no Namenu and Ma Yatia say, Ya no and Ma Yahuyan, Ya no and Ma Yahuyan, who say, O Yakupom, Mapracope, as I say, O Yakupon, yes, I for no at two years soon, and one of my quang in ours. I mean, no, we are parts of the body. Yeah, yeah, parts of the body. And so celebrating seven years of existence. Basically, it's about celebrating unity. We have one faith, one God, one baptism, one spirit living in all of us. You have believed in Jesus, God's spirit lives in you. I have believed in Jesus, God's spirit lives in me, and we have come together. So if we are celebrating our existence, then indeed we are celebrating our unity in Christ Jesus. So seven years of amazing grace is about seven years of unity. Seven years of unity. And as we all know, beloved, um, we are saying growing God's church through unity. Without grow, without unity, we wouldn't see growth. <laughs> With our unity, you know, Paul likens the church to the body. You know, even if we take the body analogy, um, if some part of the body is not doing well, it will affect the growth of the entire body. Mm -hmm. uh, in those days when we used to say some children suffer from koshioko, when their stomach becomes big, it affects the entire growth of the entire body. So if the stomach and all the other parts, you know, is deformed, it affects the whole growth of the entire body. So any part of the body is very important. It's very important. So celebrating amazing great baptism, just seven years of existence, you know, as a body of Christ, then we are saying that we are celebrating unity. We are celebrating unity. So with our unity, God's church won't grow. Just like with our unity, body won't grow. So the body of Christ won't grow with our unity. 
So growing God's strength through unity, has it that it is unity that grows God's strength, that grows God's strength. It is unity that God uses to expand God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Seven years of amazing grace is about seven years of unity. Seven years of the proclamation of the gospel without your effort, without your presence. I normally say that I am a time who finds it difficult to intentionally create video, to put it on maybe YouTube or wherever. I cannot preach to, uh, um, I mean, people I don't see. <laughs> people do that, but I am, I am not able to do that. Anytime I preach on a Zoom, there are people listening, there are people joining, there are people I see. So without you, there wouldn't be preaching, there wouldn't be proclamation. We have more than 500 sermons on YouTube, Amazing Grace Baptist Church. We are growing gradually. People are benefiting, people are hearing our words that we preach, beloved. We are growing by God's own grace and by God's own wisdom. We are growing. People are blessed by this church. Apart from the YouTube sermons you, you know we have, we also have our website where Bible study materials are there. The, 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 the website attracts traffic. Many people come there to read what stuff we have there. So we are blessing humanity. And without you, without unity, that Aim, that vision will not come to pass. Although for the American say, a young Yamia Safo, Cabo Moon, and I had it to Yamia Safo. Naya young in a Sienya Bakwa as a full to Minko, so Naya young in a young Kaya Huan Bomoa and Kanko Bian to Mimma. Naya young in a on Yanko Poma in Yabenian Koswa. I just am a new Yahuya Hose. We have one goal, one kingdom to build. We have one God to please. We have one song to, to sing. We have one salvation to celebrate. We have one deliverance to all, to rejoice in it and to um, and praise God for. Beloved, that is it. We are celebrating unity. Seven years of amazing grace, Baptist Church, is about unity. We are celebrating and beloved like the people of old in the Old Testament. Psalm 133, what we have, I have just read. We normally say it is a psalm of ascent. As the people of Israel travel to Jerusalem to celebrate the great Passover, the, you know, the different feasts, the feast of Passover, feast of the tabernacle, you know, the Bible says as they climb up the mountain to go to Zion to celebrate, as they come together to celebrate, they have songs they sing to praise God. And Psalm 133 is Part of the songs that they uh, they used to sing, and the psalmist says that, "Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren, for men, women, you know, alive, for children, adults, to dwell in unity." That is Psalm one three three. The psalm is referred to as the pilgrimage psalm, which is also known as a song of Zion. The psalm belongs to the group of psalms that were sung by the people, all right? The Bible says that um, the, the psalm belongs to the group of uh, psalms that were sung by pilgrims traveling up to Jerusalem for the three annual religious feasts of Passover, Pentecost, and uh, Tabernacles. This makes the psalm to be entitled a psalm of ascent. The pilgrim and prophetic Passover psalms are joyful. Beloved, you know, have chosen that we speak about this Psalm 133. And you know, we are celebrating seven years of amazing grace. It's a joyful moment to be part of God's own story, to be part of God's own agenda okay, of saving souls, of expanding God's kingdom. The pilgrim and the uh, prophetic Passover Psalms are joyful. They became part 
of the Passover celebration in Jerusalem. These Psalms are a remarkable celebration of the great acts of the Lord in delivering his people from Egypt, which is the theme of the Passover celebration. They also point forward to the deliverance that would come through Jesus Christ. Beloved, um, this is the psalm um, we are talking about. Psalm 133. The people sang this psalm, okay, to celebrate the goodness, the greatness of God. The theme of Psalm 133 is the blessedness of fellowship and unity, and it is most applied to the community of God's people. It is good and agreeable to the will of God to be in unity. Psalm 133. to celebrate festival. And he said, "Oh, say, and shall I ever move? Say, I'm not going to say, I will cry him. And shall I ever move? Say, I'm not going to say, I will back him. You know, me and you know, na what you? Na ni a okay ni na ni say. In that time, we are and we are not going to say, we want to be one. We want to be one. Oh yes, na they are already blessed. <laughs> Show me family members who are united." And I'll tell you a family that is blessed. Show me the football team that works in unity as a team. And I will tell you the win. Show me the church that the people are united. And I will point to you that that church is growing. That is it. So celebrating unity is celebrating growth. It's celebrating God's blessings upon them. And to them, it is pleasant and pleasing to God and all men. That is the background of Psalm 133. Beloved, what we are saying in Anise, Eradia Samuse, Enshira Womuse, and we are no person as say, Ewa Diabe, Ewa Bakumu, Ewa Kruyemu, and we are no person as say, I walk through him. Twenty twenty four. Amazing grace. Seven years. We are celebrating this anniversary, and we are saying that, beloved, this church can grow and continue to grow as long as all of us on this platform, as long as all of us here, hearing my voice, as long as all of us in the church, Amazing Great Baptist Church, are willing to pay the price of unity, the price of reconciliation, the price of having a common goal, the price of seeing that I am because you are, we are because others are. It is the mark of unity. As long as we are willing to be united, God's church will grow in all dimensions. God's church will grow. God's church will grow. God's church will grow. So the psalmist says, oh yes, bless are the people who dwell together in unity. Let's look at it. What did he say? He says that they are what? He gives a simile or what we call it, um, how good and pleasant it is, you know, when bre brothers and live together, when brethren live together in unity, then he say it is like, okay? He uses a similar here. He says it is like a precious oil poured on the head, okay? So he likens the blessings of unity to the oil poured forth on Aaron's head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down upon the color of his robe. That is one dimension. He says that, the, the, I mean, the unity is blessed and it is likened to an oil. So in other words, what the psalmist is saying is that 
By unity, we are blessed spiritually. By unity, we are blessed spiritually. Okay? And then he also says, uh, another simile, he says, it is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessings, giving life forever. Okay? I said, Zion, people, subosua, and Baba Water no Maya, a waffle. In other words, by unity, there is what we call there are physical blessings. So, what the psalmist is saying is that unity brings spiritual blessings, and unity brings what? Physical blessings. Or say, say, a yaba kwa, yenya so so mushra. Nasiyebakunsubiemua ye briefly. Or say the spiritual blessings of unity, the oil factor. He says it is like the oil poured on Aaron's head. Okay. In other words, unity break yokes. Unity break yokes. The oil on Aaron's head signifies how unity takes an ordinary man and ordinary clothes and make them extraordinary. It is unity. See, I have a coin. Onyan kupon, onyan kupon, and I'm not dumb, and I'm not dumb, so onyan me dame no, yan kuru yen no so, onyan me bema ya danson, nyan me dumb be ya kese wa yen so, na onyan me dumb no nti, me se, ya be ya danson, ya be ya kese, kopo mo si ya be ya kese pa, onyan me dumb no nti, en kuru ye bi ya be pa pa, onyan me dumb no nti, en me swa bi ya me fro, onyan me ma me tine so, onyan me dumb no nti, fa ngu di ya be ya ne ma di ya, onsi, ya watina se wa Okay, it could not spiritual blessings that God has set that person apart. And until by virtue of his unity, God will set us apart. And God will use us. It is this oil that is poured on ordinary man, ordinary woman, ordinary person that will make that person extraordinary. It is this oil that is poured forth on the clothes that will say this clothes is anointed and it will do extraordinary. In other words, what Paul and what the psalmist is saying is that unity break yokes, unity attract divine spiritual blessings by the reason of our unity, our love for God that is seen in the unity we have in the body of Christ. May yokes be broken, may burdens be lifted. And Isaiah 10, 27 says, and it shall come to pass, and it has come, and the burden will be taken off thy, sh off of thy shoulder, and the yoke of thy neck, and the yoke must be broken because of the anointing. By the reason of the anointing, may every yoke be broken. By the reason of the anointing, may every yoke be broken. May every burden be lifted up. Oh, yes, sir. By the reason of the anointing. And so that is the spiritual blessings. The Bible says unity break yokes as we celebrate seven years of amazing grace. May any yoke, may any burden. And the body is going through. Oh, he has been lifted away. May any yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Unity precedes divine favor. It is united effort that will attract divine help, divine assistance. Take the case of the condition of the paralytic man in Mark 2. You know Mark 2. There was a man, the Bible says he was paralyzed. 
this man was paralyzed for so many years. All his property that he had was a mat. He could sit on it and probably to even beg. You know, but the Bible says he has some friends. You know, the Bible says four men, four people. At a point in time when they heard that Jesus was preaching in a house nearby, they carried this paralytic man. They sent him, lowered him, you know, when even the crowd could not allow this guy to be sent to Jesus. The Bible says they managed their way. The Bible says whoever believed that God exists, Oh, yes, uh, by faith, we diligently believe that God exists and he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. These people, these four people, tuck the hole on top of the roof and lower this paralyzed man right before Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, when he saw the affair, he said, go, take up your mat and go. Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Beloved, what uh, why am I bringing in this? It is unity. It is unity. The united, the four people united to carry this friend before Christ. And the Bible says this guy received favor of divine healing. As we are united as a body of Christ, may favor be our portion. As we are united as body of Christ, may God open doors for us. As we are united as a body of Christ, may amazing grace grow from grace unto grace. As we are united as a body of Christ, may people receive divine help. Oh yes, may people divine help. May we continue to receive divine help, divine help, help of divine healing, help of divine promotion, help. May we receive help, whatever help that we need. Beloved, this is it. Dignity attracts divine blessings. And even in the Bible, there is what we call united prayer. The Bible says one who chase thousand and two who chase ten thousand. You see, when you multiply, it defines logic. Our same. Nipa Bako, and the Pamwa Pem, Nam Yaduba Pam Day, and Pimudu. It is about unity. Without unity, we cannot overcome the devil. Unity overcomes the devil. Oh, say ya Bakwa, and now Bonifona Quine and Nete, a cow being Kunaka Yamia Safun Tia Nua, a cow being Kunaka Yamia Safuku, Nua Tuan Osre, a cow being Kunaki Boyasuti, a cow being Kunako being Kaso, Kwan Sorita. It is a reality. The church is a battle. You know, the Bible says the church is at war. Paul said, though we walk in on earth, we do not war after the flesh. For, you know, um, the, 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 the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Bible says that the Yet to say, Erona, yes, you are more good nutrition. So, now when I sign up for the book, you say, Now, come in, Tadiano. We are not saying, At a set, a hermon bossia, you are no sooner about a blessing, the surrounding environment. And not just say, by unity, a shadow won't physically. Or the four, a unity. Se ya mai gana benyan koswa e ye unity. Wa busya e benyan koswa e ye unity. San wen ya miya safo e benyan koswa e ye unity. A unity. We are celebrating seven years of amazing grace. We are celebrating the unity God has given to the church. It is this unity that God has used to bless God's church. And yet, how about me? It's me, Tony Coy. A year unity, no, we shall never be a one som, one som, and in the pa. Sane, I radi, um, a yen and anon aka, yen som, yen som, and in the pa. It is unity, united front, united, you know, people who receive physical blessings and become physically blessed to others. I don't think I can understand. Psalm 133 say, and Shranka Rate or say, and Shranka one hour Tanasa or Yabadim, a Wokuru Yim, 
ewo kru ye ade ntra sonso mu onyame sira kro ye wona mu onyame sira kro ye and no thing na seven years e just is celebrating this unity ni e say e hun cry say ye nkoso nya ba ko bra ye din fie nso yi ye nkoso nya ba ko odo fo se obi be se wadwe fo onyame asoro ho ani onyame ejuma ye ho a a man who can say, message is said, it is only in unity that you can become a channel of blessing unto God's kingdom. So be my sad one, and they be being thrown and can be being thrown. Then we will be a video who will be not there are two social media. What about two social media? No, I can't just say, Nyan send him so far, sorry. Nyan send him so far for dear. Nyan send him so to and to do. Nyan send him so you say. What you want to say now? Say what again? And only who know who say your number one enemy could be sad videos. I dare be a bit distracted. So the bad yeah, the onyami bota ye. I want my onyami a safo. Who to be to who are not born? Who who be to me a chong? A free sab bota ye be a. I just be say what again? I don't know what you tell me. Ni America ni na ne say. Enshila. I walk through you, and when the young sorry walk up, as we celebrate seven years of amazing grace, you are celebrating the unity. The cast you are being a far from him, and you are being a young empire far from him. You are being a young empire, and you are being a young empire. You are being a young empire, and you are being a young empire. You are being a young empire, and you are being a young empire. You are being a young empire, and you are being a young empire. Why are we saying God blesses unity? Number one, unity defines God's purpose. Unity defines God's purpose. Ah, huh? unity defines God's purpose. You know God's nature. Bible ya jiti se nyangu pong oti asese nyami ejaoba pong kong kono. God has unity within the Godhead. Wa shasi no nyami ka se ni pe ina yeba ako ni opeswa yobe tu mi aye. Mi anko ni anko sa e wamshi sa e brand ni pama na umre soso me tsori ti a onyango pon onyango pon onyansa e muno onyami muno oye kuro anunti sa ye taking the path of unity ya ye taking the path of God okay mi ato so be unity defines the essence of the cross. Unity defines the essence of the cross. Bible say yes you are born as Samuel muno. Oh no! Me sane ne na ne sabe chese um horizontal. Oni pani ni pan kamu. Ne na ni ti ane ne na chese. Oni pani o nyangu kong ento entem aye ba ko. Anunti si e kaya senu yane swa e ye unity e ye kamu e na ye ye day ye kai. In the time we remember or we reflect on the cross, we are reminding ourselves that God has made it possible for us to be united. Unity is God's is good for the Holy Spirit lives in all believers. What the yes wedi, my the yes wedi, ye ni na ye the yes wedi, ye no en na ya kan ye hon abo. And unity on yami asafo, e ye kuro ye, e ye bako. Unity defines you know, um, the believers, because it is one Holy Spirit who lives in all of us. All of four, culturally, you know, 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 Oh, more maybe an idea no be a prey. So many the new why it is going to one stomach. Okay, it just a unity in diversity. We all have one kingdom. We we may uh, sometimes we are talking about unity, and you may go on maybe a koswa or background. Maybe any person here, sorry, or baby, it may be different from our amazing game here. Person here, near my nice to say what you have to say. Yeah, you know, yeah, he never back on your young world, you know, yeah, mom, the crap say and say, crew yet in Kankoba, crew yet and in Kabum, and they and Koswa ever celebrating seven years of amazing grace is about celebrating God's unity that God has given to God's church. Beloved, um, as I bring my message to an end, for us to pray together, we are celebrating 
seven years of Amazing Grace Baptist Church, we are celebrating unity. And by that, by that unity, what are we to do? By that unity, what are we to do? Beloved, um, the person, Yashia Nyeman Ketua Nyeman Kakrei Anson, said the other year, Ya de kru ye ba koso asume urade. Na wu nyan kru pon wa hinye akoso. Hallelujah. As a church, as people on this platform, because of unity, let us recognize and respect everybody on this platform. Respect everybody in the church. If we want to build the unity of the church and for a church to grow, it is about respect. We may differ, but we all bear God's own image. Respect. Number two, let us own the church's objectives and vision. Amazing great. Yeah, yeah, sure. And you must have you Fire Juma Wate, you in Yamia Safo, and to me and two and pong. Fire Juma, Fire Juma. Near a toss of you, say about building the unity of the church here. We should be, I mean, um, there should be op effective and open communication network. Um, so be been on Tiasia, so for Hobby Sun, be been on Tiasia, Bisa Sopay, so when you want Tiasia, Bisa. Near in a no, your four door and treat him, Nabibia, a man, Coswell, et to me, a bar. Sometimes, as a sorry, you bet me, and you may be every other one, yeah. One way I won't tell you, and you be say, we say, every and you be me, maybe a champ. You know, my experience, I'm the ones that you will any say, I ain't until you any say. Never was aware, Miss A. If we will build the unity of the church, ask questions, ask questions. And the third one is that to build the unity of the church, love genuinely. Let your love be genuine. Na mi fi e nyi ahu ya e nyi e ni bre e nyi na ya hini e ba ko na mi e juma e nyi e nyi na ya yo ma odo e nyi kese se di ebe ya beti mi apua na safuno e tumpong o ni a uti mi na mi shira sa ube ya sa na o nyi akupon na mso ama unity ya ye kahua sem. To me, and your mo chefa. And Rade and your case, Mama, your empire. Let us pray.